Today I'm coming to you from under my desk. In fact I'm crouched next to my PC so I can pick up as much fan noise as possible. What I'd like to do is show you how you can use Edison to remove these sorts of noises from your recordings. So this is the sentence I'm going to load into Edison and remove the noise from it. So we're back up top again. Let's remove that noise from the recording. I've loaded the sentence into Edison. Here it is. So this is the sentence I'm going to load into Edison, which I have. And you can clearly hear the fan noise at the start. Here it is. We'd like to remove that. Well, Edison has a tool here. It's the cleanup tool. And to use it, it's pretty simple. First thing you do is select just the noise. Now, when you're looking for noise in a recording, Edison has another helpful feature. If you switch to spectral view, sound is represented frequency vertically and time horizontally. You can see some horizontal lines running through the recording here. That's usually indicative of a noise. So I'm going to select just a section of our sample where there's noise uh, happening on its own because we need that as a noise print for our noise reduction tool. I've selected my noise. Happy that it's just noise. If you right click on the cleanup tool, it says noise profile acquired should drift up. So once we've done that, we can open the tool and we get to see the controls associated with the noise reduction. Today we're using the denoiser, so make sure the denoiser is selected. We want the clipper off and the clicker off. The other controls, we have output noise only switch, a threshold control, and an amount control. I'm going to suggest when you start using this tool, set the amount essentially vertically, which is about 22, threshold to 0 dB, and preview the sample. So this is the sentence I'm going to load into it. Okay, that's interesting. You can hear um, that it's been cleaned up a bit. In fact, let's turn the amount control all the way to the right. So this is the sentence I'm going to load into it. Now that sounds a bit odd. In fact, it sounds almost like it's underwater. So one of the problems you face using the tool is you have to fine tune it so that you're just removing the noise and not the original sound. Now there is a third feature here that can help you to do that. It's output noise only. And I'll turn this all the way to the right. And what you'll hear when I preview now is the sound that's going to be removed from your sample. Now you can clearly hear there that some of my voice was leaking through into the, the noise that was going to be removed. Fine tune this until you hear just the noise when you hit preview. Okay, pretty happy with that. I'm going to give that a go. Make sure to turn output noise only off, otherwise you're going to hear just the noise, except. Okay, so I've processed the sample and you'll notice then that the uh, quiet areas just got darker. That means there's less noise, which is what we're expecting. Let's have a listen to that. So this is the sentence I'm going to load into Edison. So that's not bad. That's noise reduction using the cleanup tool in Edison.